And Shane is here now. Good morning. Can Good morning. you believe it's nine years ago? Nine years ago. I feel really old. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, mate. We had a whip round for the ticker tape, but we haven't quite got the budget that X Factor has got. But when you see a scene like that, it takes you right back, doesn't it? To the it heart does. of shiny floor entertainment. Exactly, yeah. The much smaller stage at the time. Um, that, it's, it's great to watch it back, you know, and see family and friends in the audience. And yeah, just even watching that there, it was a real, you know, great experience. The man described at the time as the perfect pop package. It was, yeah. It was completely new at its time, and um, since then the shows have become absolutely huge. Now, How so. do you think the show has differed then over the years? Um, I think um, the fact that they refresh, you know, the judges every single time. You know, the fact that they um, kind of made the age limit a bit better. You know, so the youth act that, uh, that are coming through now yeah. are incredible. I and mean, they're much more sophisticated now, much aren't more, they? Much, much more, more knowing, too, yeah. as far as the social media is concerned and how they can actually yeah, because we didn't have board. that. We just had blogs, you know, then, mm. you know. So, um, yeah, I think since then, the, the young acts that are coming through were just mind-blowing. Yeah. And do you think there could be fireworks on the judging panel Oh, this yeah, year? of course. <laughs> I mean, Simon loves um, anything that brings all the attention to the show, yeah. you know. So um, the fact that we've got Mel B on there, you know, she's always going to be feisty and she's going to say, she's going to keep it real and say it how it is. And um, I'm looking forward to that. I'm actually looking forward to seeing her um, maybe having a go at Louis. That would be a... <laughs> well, what, uh, Cheryl and Louis have got form in the past as well, haven't they? Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, exactly. Cheryl and Louis, I think that's why Cheryl sits next to Simon as well. And um, Louis just sits at the end in the same seat. Leave Louis to where he is and uh, <laughs> Louis, Louis good at what he does leave him to the oh, end because he was of course your mentor wasn't he yeah Louis listen Louis was brilliant and um, when we worked together and um, yeah he, he was a great mentor you know and um, I, was, I was a massive fan of him being a manager of the boy bands that he was and um, yeah we became very good friends from it who would you like to see it win it this year I mean the last time Cheryl obviously and Simon were together 2010 vintage year we got ourselves you know one direction so yeah obviously a stellar act yeah, I think for me, I would like to see um, someone with uh, a, a real soul feel to it. So maybe a kind of like a Teddy Pendergrass voice, you know, or Marvin Gaye. You know, someone that really takes the, the audience and the people at home by surprise. You know, because we've got the great success of the One Direction, the Young Boys, that's perfect. We've got the girl band with Little Mix, you know. So it'd be great now to get another big singer mm. solo. And how hard is it for those people? I mean, obviously, you get the instant success, don't you? Yeah. When you win on X Factor, you get that, you know, that massive buzz straight away. How hard is it to sustain that? Um, it's, it's very hard because we all know it is a conveyor belt industry, you know. So you'll have the one winner and then the focus will be on the next show and who's going to come from that. But that's what the show is. It's a platform, you know. You, you're never guaranteed um, the next um, five or six years to be, you know, paved out for you. You've got to kind of make it yourself. I've been in it since 2005, so that's nine years, you know, so um, I'm still going strong, yeah. you know. And Working I'm on your fourth on album now. Working on, on the fourth album with um, latest, uh, sorry, latest 80s um, icon Mike Stock. Oh, you know, okay. so um, Are we going to see some 80s themes in that then? Well, How's me and Mike are having a discussion, you know, <laughs> and um, get back to work, because I know he's watching this this morning, <laughs> so get back to that piano. <laughs> Um, but the great thing about it is that, you know, it's been about four years since I had something of my own out. So to work with someone of uh, Mike Stock's uh, calibre is, is incredible. So it's going to be a real pop album for the fans, and we're looking at February. I'll Brilliant. get the DeLorean out then. It's back to the future. <laughs> oh, well, we, that yeah. sounds great. We'll look she forward to that one. She loves throwing shapes and tearing up the rug to the 80s, don't you, Charlotte? Yeah, I we'll, do we'll get that sorted. Right up my street. Great to have you back, sir. Thank you yeah, very much. Thanks, Thank Jane. You. Thanks for joining Thank us. You.